Galaxy Z Fold is Samsung's new folding smartphone. At first glance, it looks quite similar to its predecessor, Galaxy Fold 3. Let's see what's new in the Fold 4 compared to the last year's Fold 3. Let's do a comparison and see if it's worth to get the new Fold 4. So let's start the video, but before I start... The cover screen is wider and bigger, which is a welcome change as you get more real estate which was needed. The main screen has similar 7.6 inch display but is more squarish looking and the viewing area is bigger than the Fold 3 with slightly slimmer bezels. It comes with Gorilla Glass Victus Plus protection, slightly more durable than the last year's Gorilla Glass Victus. The new Fold is slightly thinner and weight a bit less than the last year Fold 3. Talking about the crease, the crease is also similar to the last year Fold 3 and is quite visible. Slightly less than the Fold 3 but still quite visible. Talking about its display, it has the same resolution but the maximum brightness is higher than the Fold 3 which is good for outdoor visibility. Minimum brightness is also better on Fold 4 so you get slightly more deeper blacks on the Fold 4. As expected, Fold 4 comes with the latest and the most powerful processor, Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, compared to the Fold 3 which runs on Snapdragon 888 chipset. The latest chip does perform slightly better in benchmarks for performance and gaming. Both the Fold 4 and 3 have 12GB of IP DDR5 RAM for all the models and both comes with 256GB and 512GB USF 3.1 storage. One advantage, Fold 4 has is storage capacity. Fold 4 also comes in 1TB model which is a great news for business class and power user. Unfortunately, none of them supports microSD card. Fold 4 comes with Android 12L on board and One UI 4.1.1 on top of that with some additional features like touchpad and better multitasking capabilities. I'm sure these features will come to Fold 3 sooner or later with a software update. Both the smartphones will get 4 years of major software update and 5 years of security updates from Samsung. Both the smartphone uses pill-shaped triple camera setup at the rear. Fold 4 has a larger 50 megapixel main sensor compared to the 12 megapixel on Fold 3 and I'm sure it will snap better looking pictures and videos. Additionally, you also get a 3x telephoto lens and upgrade from 2x zoom used before. Fold Fold 4 has similar front camera as the last year Fold 3 but this time is more wider which is useful for group selfies. The under display camera is also improved slightly. Also the area around under display appeared pixelized on Fold 3. The newer edition hides it better but still not totally invisible. Unfortunately the battery is similar as last year with 4400 mAh and supports 25 watt fast charging like last year. The only advantage for Fold 4 is it can charge 50% battery in 30 minutes. It also supports 15 watt wireless charging compared to 11 watt in Fold 3. Price at the launch is $17.99 for Fold 4 and I'm sure Fold 3 will go $100 off and even more in coming months. Fold 4 comes in beige, phantom black, grey green and burgundy color option. Fold 3 comes in phantom black, phantom green and phantom silver color options. Also there is a thumb brown edition. Now let's talk about the similarities. Both the folding smartphones support S Pen Stylish. And unfortunately on both, S Pen only works on the main screen, not on the cover screen. Both are IPX8 water resistant, both supports Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.2. Both has NFC, both has side mounted fingerprints, both comes with 5G support and both the smartphones supports adaptive 120Hz refresh rate. In conclusion, the Fold 4 brings a welcome refresh to the form factor and is powered by one of the best processor around in a while. It is just more refined device all around and you can tell. But is it drastically different? Well, not really. Does it have a camera so different that you just have to upgrade? Also not quite. I don't think they are big enough to warrant an immediate upgrade for those currently rocking the previous generation Fold 3. But definitely do write me in the comments below what do you guys think. So that's all for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, kindly hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. See you all soon in my next video. Till then, goodbye, peace and blessings. Mm -hmm.